Okay, guys, so we got a new dishwasher. And Not we're this one. replacing this one. It's behind us. So this is a Samsung dishwasher, but we're going to take out this dishwasher and install the new one. Well, she's going to take it out and install the new one. And uh, yeah. I'm going to make drinks. No, he's, he's going to do it. I'm going to do it. So we're going to go over how. He knows how to do it. Sort I of. Think, I would probably take about a week to do this, okay? It's a little bit more difficult than I thought, but that's the reason why we're doing a video because you want to install your own stuff and save yourself. I think it's like $100 to install this. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So in this video, we're going to go over the tools you need. I wouldn't be able to tell you. <laughs> we're going to go over the tools you need, including alcohol. So you be sure to put that on the list. And, and all the parts that are required to get this in. So it's it's not that bad, but it isn't just a plug and play install. Oh, and it's perfectly fine dishwasher, and this is why we're replacing it. <laughs> the springs broke in the door, and it's like trying to catch a brick, you know, as it's coming down. And so we were just like, well, we're getting this house prepared to sell another year. Why not replace the appliances for the new homeowners? Yep. You know, we got better places to be, new adventures to seek. And these are also like 10 years old. So, I mean, it's it was time. Our fridge was not doing too well. Did that. See that video. And... Um, the stove is coming. Oh, yeah. And the microwave. So... It's a nice stove, too. <laughs> it is. So y'all stay tuned and we'll get right into this. So when you get your dishwasher unboxed, Samsung, they'll come with uh, these little clips. This is for the top to click it, clip the end in the bottom here. It'll come with your instruction manual, user manual, this uh, cascade, and your install menu and the little plate for the bottom. This is my pile of tools to install. So it doesn't. What it doesn't come with is it doesn't come with the side screws. It doesn't come with the twist nuts. So get one of these. This is a cord kit for a dishwasher. It comes with cord, comes with the wire nuts, and also this little thing right here. I'll leave a link down below for all this. Also, you'll need the hot water line. It comes with the U joint and everything like that. This is a universal dishwasher kit. It doesn't come with your Teflon tape or your air gap, which you don't need air gap. We'll show you how you do it without air gap. You just have to pin the hose up higher. Tools you need, electric drill. So you'll have to drill. You'll need safety goggles. Well, if you, they recommend it. And gloves and a flashlight. We're gonna be using the cat camera for our flashlight. You need a crescent wrench, wire uh, strippers, pliers, um, wire nips, I used to call them dikes, measuring tape, pencil, screwdriver, Phillips head, that's, I got a drill for that, tube cutter, so it's just a roundy tube cutter, cutting knife, um, hole saw, so this already has a dishwasher, so I hopefully don't need a hole saw. Levels, have a level, you have to level it, kit, and there you go. Now let's say get this old unit out. 
Okay, this door is broken. So, hopefully this only has one screw in it. That's all I saw. There we go. That's out. And let's see if this slides out. Oh, look at that. One screw holding this in. So here's the mounts on the original unit. So I'm going to slide this one out of the way so I can get this guy here because it won't fit through there. Okay, so you slide these out. These aren't heavy. Here's all the insulation. And wow, that's open. There's no wall in between here and that. That's cool. And there's no plug right there. They've direct wired this. Nice. So let me show you what I'm looking at here. So you see right there? They've actually direct wired that into the wall to here. So I'm gonna have to find the breaker that turns it off. And then here's the hoses that came out. You'll notice that this hose is hung up there and then brought down. That's so uh, it doesn't backwash into the unit. But that's interesting. There's some things I can clean out of here too. So before uh, working on this, you probably want to shut off your dishwasher. Especially if your dishwasher is like ours and it doesn't have, it has exposed wires. So 11 right here. Flip that off. Okay, so now I have to turn the water off. Got the breaker off. Got the water's all the way down in there. Let's see if I can reach it. Yeah, hopefully it's off. We'll find out when we go break it loose. So I take off the front of this thing to get to, so I can get to the wires, which are under here. What was that? Okay, and so up in here we have the wires. Well, that's interesting. So there's the, they've been pulled out and electric taped. And where's the ground? There's the ground. Ground's right there. So. Just move, remove the ground, and should come right out. If I have an issue about being electrocuted, I pulled out the multimeter. Got them wires paired, the black and white, and we're good. I found why that popped and the door didn't hold. The spring broke, so I just twisted it back in there, and Voila, fix the door. Okay, so our hose runs from the top up here, so, and that runs to here. So it doesn't have the hair gap, but it is ran really high. So we'll go ahead and remove this. And we'll take this off, off camera, because there's probably going to be a lot of goodies that come out of that. See if I can get a drill to take this one off. There we go. Hopefully it's not a big mess. Oh, a little bit of wire. Just fair warning, you're gonna make a mess when you pull out an old dishwasher. Well, I don't think this is a Danielle approved clean job, but there it is. And now I have to pull that pipe out because I'm about to rerun the new one. And there is our cable that we're going to use because there's no outlet back there. Nice. Okay, on the back of the Samsung fridge, to connect your water line, pull this off, and it exposes that. For the dishwasher kit, I'm only using this one piece. So it plug into here and this will just will just screw on there. So once you get it connected, it'll look like that. 
I have this facing towards uh, where it's going to plug into the sink. Okay. That's connected. Feels dry. Okay, this gray hose they had taped to the back, they don't give you a lot of it, so we're going to shove this up the back. And that's not what she said. So all this right here, we're going to put this in the hole. Okay, so we put our water pipe, our drain pipe back on and just tighten this up. This runs into our garbage disposal, so that's a good thing. Our water is connected. We need to push this in so we can connect our, this, our wastewater, and we're going to have to connect this. There's a place under here that the core cord slides in. When you're sliding it under, it's too tight. Okay, so you see I have the tab things installed over there. To put these tab things in, you have to sink them down in here and then and then they go in. So the way the dishwasher's in here, I have to take and I have to bend these up to where that first hole so I can screw that in. And then I'm gonna take and break these off. Like that. Drop these back in. There we go. Oops. Yeah, freezing the hole. There. Then let's take and push this in. Now we have a point to screw on. Hopefully it's good enough. Okay, with them in, I went and took and uh, bent them, as you saw, so I could screw them into this wood sideways. Okay, now with the top of it mounted, you gotta take care of this power cord. Now we're not using the plug-in, we're using this original wire they have here, but I'm thinking that is our junction box. So all we have to do is take our green, white, and black wire and tie them in. We've got this thing powered up. Okay, so I've got all the wires connected, and now all I have to do is shove it back in the junction box, and we should have a dishwasher, or a good explosion. Okay, I didn't show this, but this is level from uh, side to side and front to back. And uh, I only put two screws in the top here, but this thing's wedged in here so tight it doesn't move. So now let's turn it on and see if we have power. Yeah. Start. And it's working. It's not very loud either. Let's go ahead and cancel it. Put this thing back together. You have to hold this for three seconds. So now you want to get your kick play on. It just screws in with the provided screws on both sides. And this little rubber thing up here goes underneath it. Okay, to open this up, you just simply pull down here. It doesn't have a handle release. And you'll notice the springs in this are pretty tight. 
Here is where you put your soap in. It has a button on the side you can push. This is your water softener right here. So you can put some of that in there. Pull out the bottom rack, and this, of course, is your silverware container. It comes out, and you have different silverware. They, the instructions tell you how you can stack this to best fit, but it holds a lot of stuff. It's, there's a lot of room in here. Now, this is our top rack. If we want to raise this up, because we need more room at the bottom, we simply just pull this off and slide it in. And now we have more room down here. This has these little things that come out. On the old dishwasher, I used to set the knives up here. And this looks like for wine glasses. And then your cups and things like that. And then, of course, there's this tray in the top that will come out if you need more room up there. But you can put flatware in here. And they say knives and stuff like that. So at the front of the unit, you have your power on and off. These are touch. So right now I have it set to auto. But you can go through normal and heavy and express. With auto, it will it will uh, basically vary the normal time. So it does do higher heat, but the cycles are the same. It only has one pre-rinse and two final rinses with, uh, of course, the wash. And normal has the same. Now, if you go heavy, your wash temperature is at 131 Fahrenheit. It has two pre-washes, a wash, which is at 131 Fahrenheit, and then four rinse cycles. Express is only one rinse, or pre-rinse, and two, a wash and two rinses. But it's the shortest time, only 60 uh, minutes, where the other ones are 106 and up. Express wash will not let you do high temperature wash. It will let you do sanitation and heat dry. Auto will let you do high temperature wash, sanitation, and heat dry. And so will normal and heavy. Then you can go and hit delay. And you can delay this for three, six, or nine hours. This way you can wash during your economical power usage times. Ours is at 8.30 p.m. here, where we pay less per kilowatt. And then you can go ahead and start. This thing is empty, so it's going to be a little louder, but it is still very, very quiet. If you need to cancel a wash, you just hit cancel. Hold it for three seconds and it will start canceling and drain. Of course, you can't do anything until it is completely canceled. As it goes through the wash cycles, it will show you its wash, rinse, dry, and end. Okay, so we got the dishwasher installed. It did take me a little bit longer than expected because, uh, there's some slight problems under there that I wasn't expecting. Also, due to the walls being so far away, we didn't put the, uh, the screws in the side, um, but we stabilized the back and screwed in the front tight enough and wedged it in there. I don't think it's going anywhere. But it works well, and uh, it's quiet. It is really quiet. No, we, we've, we've ran through a few cycles though, and it's worked very well. What do you think, honey? Quiet. So, a lot of room in there. It's been here for a week, so yeah. It seems to be doing fine. Um, seems to be using less water. Um, doesn't seem to run. 
uh, like our last one just seemed to run and the longer it got, it got louder and louder and louder and this one is just quiet the whole time. Now it was just, uh, the last one we just, it sounded like a grinding uh, motion in here. But it's and still clean very well. It's still clean very well. And uh, just older dishwashers seem to be louder. And you saw the insulation of the last one versus this one. This one has a better insulation around it. Also, it's got a lot more capacity than our old one. So it goes down deeper. It's got more rack space. We can fit bigger dishes in there on the bottom rack. I showed how to move the shelf up and down. It is good. And it's, what is it, this power? You, it's on auto. You choose your options. It's very simple. And you start. I it, mean, there's really not much to it. It's, you know, it, back when I was in the army, you know, it was... Oops, a, I started it. I barely even touched it. That was weird. It's, it's, yeah, it's a simple touch. It's not, these aren't buttons. You just touch them and they, they activate. The reason why we installed it ourselves and we didn't just take this stuff to the junkyard is because we want to donate this to, or... Let's other people use it. So we're just giving this stuff away in our oh, yeah. local community. It's so very good stuff. Um, and we get to help out people who need stuff. And that feels really good. And, you know, we just put in new stuff because um, resale value for our house soon. Well, yeah. not soon, but, you know, selling points. Yeah, we do plan on moving up a couple years or less and uh, starting a new adventure. Yes. Yeah, the kids will be gone. You know, I love my kitchen. I'm going to miss my kitchen. But, uh, y'all, uh, y'all can see all this stuff in, uh, our recipe videos. She releases new recipes every week, and they're awesome. And, uh, if you like this channel, please subscribe. And, uh... Sorry, you, my son's over there trying to get in to eat. <laughs> <laughs> and if you want that added extra reminder, go ahead and click that bell. If you like this video, hit the like button. It's also down there. It looks like this. And y'all please take care. <laughs>